Hello and welcome to a random Ark Survival Evolved video. I'm doing this video for a friend to showcase a bit of the game. And yes, I play on very low settings. Not because my computer can't handle it, it can actually play medium to high, but I prefer to have performance over um, dying every five seconds because the game skips randomly. The game is very poorly optimized, but it is fairly good. I enjoy this game. Um, I'm just going to showcase a few things. You tried watching me on a Steam stream, but I never really used it before, and he said that it was laggy, so I figured I'd just show him this way. Make a quick video. Why not? It's nice when you're set up to just click a button and record, so it makes no difference. Basically, we this was just our house we were working on. Still working on it currently, but basic frame is done. Rope ladders. These things are new. They're a little weird. Come on. No. No, I want to grab the ladder to climb up. Okay. I think something glitched. There it goes. Okay. But yeah, this is our house. We're going to put a couple of ballistas up here. Maybe a couple of cannons pointing out this way. But, it's home for now. It's just me and my friend playing on this. Um, this is currently non-dedicated. I'm going to set up a dedicated server in the future soon. Hopefully. We have several mods running today, but I won't go through all of them. It's just to showcase the game. Building a ladder down the back so we can get down to the shore. And um, oh, I forgot to take these guys off follow. Please stop, don't follow me off the cliff. That would end badly. But uh, we have the shop mod installed. I built, we built this house just to have the shop. We can, let's see, do I have anything to sell? We could just take me this metal ore, drop it in here, and it gives us gold, which then we could use in any of these shops to get items. It's just to help speed up the game, and makes it a little bit more fun, in my opinion. You can also pay this one research table to, um, if I was to drop in here and I was to put gold, I could basically roll and then it would give me a random item of the same type, only it might be like a legendary or something like that. That's how it works. Oh, it's getting night, so this kind of sucks with the time, but, um, yeah, these are all our tames at the moment. Quite nice. Got quite a few. We don't have a gate built yet. Really, if something terrible was to happen, like a Giganotosaurus was to roll up onto the shore here, bad things might happen. Might happen. We, we already have plans in store. Like, uh, we have a box of C4 inside of there that could help us a lot in that case. We also have a couple um, Megalodons over there. We'll go see them in a bit. It's dangerous to go out at night, but, um, let's find one of our flyers. We'll take one of our flyers around, just for a little adventuring. We also have, um, the mod Bush People installed, so there's random NPC enemies. I'm over encumbered. I'm over encumbering him. He can only carry so much weight. Uh, let's see. Let's find somebody to dump all this shit off into. Well, I'll just dump it off into you for now. That should work. Yes. Yes. Dump it all off. Uh, I just recently had to reinstall um, the game. So it actually deleted my map progress. But, um, yeah, the map is pretty big. It's, I'd say, about 50 kilometers. Yeah, probably about 50 kilometers. Close to that, I think. That's just a guesstimate, but yeah. Pretty big map. Yeah, you have the sound. Now, you probably can't see absolute shit on the recording, but, um... Yeah, we have nights sped up really fast, so it should be getting daytime soon. I hope. If not, this is going to be boring. I wonder if he realizes he left this guy out here. 
Oh, well, we'll take them with us. But yeah, all your creatures need to eat and everything. We need to eat. There's getting overheated. There's freezing, which if we go over there, we will freeze because we're only wearing hide armor. Here's a Ronto out here. Maybe this has this thing set to wander. Come on, sunlight. No, you're coming. I can see it starting to reflect off the water. It's just not all the way up yet. As soon as it cracks, we'll head out. We'll go over to Carno Island, actually. That's an island straight ahead of us. Yeah, we can start flying now. Let's get a little altitude. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> we just have to be careful because we don't want to run into stamina. If you run into stamina on a flyer, you're pretty much forced to land. That could end very badly. For both you and your creature and all of your shit. Because you don't want to lose all your shit, especially if you're carrying valuables. We also have another mod, um, it's called Small Dragons. Um, yeah, we don't want to encounter a small dragon because it will chase us, and then me and my friend will have to deal with him. We already had to deal with one, we had our T-Rex eat it. That was quite terrifying. We just saw a giant ball of fire. He was way back on the island over there, and he saw the giant ball of fire, and he was like, What the hell was that? And then, this is like, yeah, there's a dragon chasing me. So I led it back to the field in front of our base, and we murdered it. It was quite tasty afterwards, too. But we won't go there. But yeah, that doesn't seem to be too... No small dragons today over here. Nope, I don't see any small dragons. Alright. And these glowing tower things, these are um, supply crates. Um, if, you're the, if you're the right level, you can actually get off. This is probably, this is a really stupid idea to land here, but you can get off, you can open this up. It might have some random items like that scope and a metal sign blueprint. I'll take them, and we'll get out of here before something comes and tries to kill us. Because the thing about Carno Island, there's only carnivores that spawn on it. Everything here will kill you. Everything. He will kill you, that cat will kill you, these birds will kill you, everything will kill you, including the water. There's death in those waters. You don't want to be in those waters at the wrong time. But yeah, let's go on an adventure. Hold on, this bird leveled up, so we'll give it more speed. Yes. Yeah, a bit faster. This guy keeping up? Yeah, yes. But when you start the game, you spawn on the shores, and then you can slowly migrate into the island if you want. Usually people stay on the shores, though, and to just pick a fortified spot. Like, that spot that we're in, that's one of our favorite spots in the game. We like that place. One of the mountains. Usually metal. Well, there is always metal deposits on top of mountains. You can find crystals and stuff, so you can make, like, your spy glasses, which is your scope here. Oh my god. Yeah, crystals, metal, stuff like that. But yeah, here's a good um, view of the map. It's pretty huge if you get up here. But yeah, he's way over there. 1,700 meters over there. And you can get it all the way over there if you want. And beyond if you want. If you're, You can live on a boat. You can build your house on a boat and then go out. They can do a lot of shit, too, if you have certain mods installed, like they have bigger rafts and stuff. <clears throat> I think there's one called Fortress Raft. You can have, like, 33 foundations, which is about a mm, meter and a half block on the ground each, so it can, you can get pretty big bases. I'll fly down into this river here. Now, earlier, I don't know if they'll still be here, but there was Bush People, which is that mod that I mentioned earlier that has NPC um, human enemies. 
Did I lose him? No, there he is. Okay. I gotta keep in mind that I'm a bit faster than he is. Yep, there they are. There's the bush people. I don't want to get too close to them, but, um, yeah, they're just chilling at the moment. Um, the mod is supposed to have them build bases. I don't know what's wrong with this boat in particular, but they're just sitting here. The queen's in the center there. And once they actually build bases on the shore, um, they start getting armor and stuff. Like, I see one dude that had, like, a full set of chain mail, and he had spear he had metal spears and he had a shield he was pretty tough he was kicking ass too in the swamp yeah but these guys can they're actually programmed to knock you out and steal your items put them on and trap you inside of a cage they're very dangerous i don't like them actually i do like them but I don't like them when they destroy me and take my pants. Yes, yes, when they knock you out, they take your pants. That's the first thing that goes, they take your pants. Here's another boat. It's another one that's been sitting here for a little while. I don't know what they're doing. This one has cannons on it. Luckily, the cannons can aim this high, so we're okay. We'll move on. This is the Redwood Forest coming up on the left. I haven't explored this area too much because they recently added this area. They actually closed off a section of the map temporarily with these red borders. And then they changed this entire area, so it's an entirely new biome. Usually this river right here is full of piranhas. Oh, hello. Hello. More bush people here now, and there's also... What are those called? Oh my goodness, I can't remember their names. Oh well. Moving on. I'll, I'll, I know I'll remember his name as soon as I stop recording. This area is dangerous to build in because he, this is along the Giganotosaurus roaming path. He likes to roam up and down this river. Like, um, I know there's some people that build bases here and then he just comes in and then just destroys everything. You don't want a Giganotosaurus near your base, unless you're ready for him. If you're ready for him and you have guns and cannons set up, there's a terror bird hunting it looks like. Terror birds? Yeah. Are those terror birds going after a bear? They are. You realize he's just going to eat you. Must be a really high level terror bird to live this long against a bear. Eh. Bear don't care. He's just going about his business again. What? Oh. It's running from something. Nope, oh, okay. Go up to the volcano. More birds. There's lots of caves in the game, which I'm not going to show you a cave because I will die if I go in that cave. Too many spiders and snakes. You can handle snakes out in the open, but not in the cave. Not without a shotgun or two. I like dual wielding shotguns. Fire two shots, which the next shotgun, two shots, then reload. What about my spear? Kick ass. This is also a nice place to build a base. Lots of people build bases here. It, but, um, we decided not to. We like our shore. But yeah, there's only one way in, unless you want to fly at me. Very nice, defended area. It's got end game materials, there's obsidian here, there's crystal, and the metal. It's got everything. The only thing it really doesn't have up here is trees. You have to go down the hill to get trees, or fly them over if you have the birds. Uh oh, I'm out of stamina. It's gonna force me to land. Yeah, this is what it does. Just a slow, slow death. If there's something terrible underneath you. Luckily, there's nothing terrible underneath you. And for some reason, that Carno is stuck on the side of the mountain. Uh oh, don't fall down the mountain. You don't want that. What's that Carno doing? If I can angle my scope right. 
That's ah, true. Yeah, but the um, snow biome only used to be about that si the size of that mountain right there, but now it stretches all the way around next to our base over there. And I believe this red water is a glitch, if I remember correctly. It's not supposed to be red. Yeah, but after the update where they changed the snow biome just recently, um, I would argue it's the most dangerous area in the game because of the cold and everything seems to be a giant clusterfuck like that. All those cats going after those birds. And a blizzard just started, so now it's really freaking cold. I'm like, what's going on? I'm gonna do a quick fly over though. Let's gather around. Some mammoths in there. Quite nice things. But yeah, you could drop down and build bases anywhere if you wanted to. You just gotta be able to survive there, I mean. It's still fun if you get into a place and then you die every five seconds. Trying to build a thatch structure. And leaves. And blood. <laughs> but there's a Rex. He's hungry. And I mean, these floating things, um... Under them, there's actually a little container you can put stuff into. And if you put all of the right stuff into them, it actually summons one of the bosses of the game. Which we have a mod on that randomly spawns the bosses out into the uh, world. Which is quite interesting, actually. I haven't personally seen any of the bosses yet. I'm kind of curious if they actually spawn to go see one. But they're extremely powerful. Yeah, here it is. You put that you put the stuff into that and then you summon the boss. Simple enough. Uh we'll fly down the coast to our left here real quick. I've seen people turn this the top of this place into a hell of a fortress as well. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos with same with that ice cave straight ahead of us over there. That place can be one hell of a fortress too. You just gotta go out and get all of your supplies and fly them in. That's the only downside to that place. Build a couple gunboats for defense as well. Yeah, this place is really dangerous though. We're going over here. Is that guy keeping up with me? Yes, he's coming. Yeah, but I lost about... Four of my health? Let's see. Yeah, I lost a good portion of my health being in that zone. I need fur stuff. But yeah, in a populated server, this place will be just covered in small buildings from people trying... just getting into the server, or... Being here for a long time and building turrets everywhere that kill noobs that join. Those people aren't nice. I don't like those people. Scared, buddy? Someone must be trying to kill them over there. Let's take off. Okay. But yeah, no matter where you set up, there is going to be stuff that can kill you. There's always something dangerous. Like that Sarko there. That Sarko will murder you. If you're just starting. That's a big, those are big fish. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I touched the water. Okay, time to go. Whistle passive. Come on, guys. Come on. Wait. Okay, it must have been really low level. 
I see. We have a mod and stuff, so we have tranquilizer spears. Yeah, he's only level 16. He's okay. Nah, I would tame him, but I don't have enough meat. Well, waste not. I almost dead. Come on. Alright, I will cut the video here, actually. I need to go. Thank you for watching.